Hmm? Well, this is for you. I, I blotted up some grape juice for you. <laughs> really? No, no one's ever given me flowers before. Oh, but there's lots of things I could show you for the first time. <sighs> Nick. Oh. Nick? <sighs> Nick! Jeff! Baby! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I told you guys oh. I had everything Sorry. under control. Well. <sighs> Daphne? Nikki? Van! So the result of his complete immolation is just minor redness and irritation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call the Sears and Roebuck and get some dry goods. Hello, Mr. Comstock. Yes, I, I realize what time it is. No. I, I'm sorry to wake you, sir, but there's been an accident at the studio. We made hobgoblins. The film vault blew up. Yes, it, it, the building is still smoldering. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, I realize about the insurance, but yeah. you fired me earlier. Uh -huh. There was no one on duty. Of course not. When it happened. Uh, guys, I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, can I use your phone? You know, Mike, one thing I learned from this movie is that Daphne is a slut, and Amy wasn't fun until she became a slut. Well, that's the fun message of today. A little help here? What's he up to? Yeah, what do you need? Come over here. Rick Sloan's out here, and he needs a little help. Rick Sloan? Yeah, Rick Sloan, the director. What, he's here right right now? Yeah, the director of today's movie, Rick Sloan, wanted to explain a few things about his film. Hello? Am I speaking English here? Gee, is it me? Okay, it just, it just seems a, a little weird is all. Rick Sloan <laughs> actually being here? Well, he is. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, uh, Rick Sloan is, is lighter than you'd think. Oh, you know? oh, is he, Mike? Well, I guess uh, I had no preconceived notions about Rick Sloan's weight. I guess I'm not a racist like you are, Mike. Well, okay, hey. Right. Uh, so, Rick Sloan, director of Hobgoblins, uh, how are you? The crow. The what? Perhaps you could uh, uh, be of some assistance in helping Mr. Rick Sloan explain some of the things about the film? Well, hey, it seems nice, but I've never met the guy before. Oh, would you just do the voice, Crow? Oh, right, right, right. So, Mr. Rick Sloan. Hello, and how are you? <laughs> good, good. Say, why don't you explain to the good folks um, exactly what... Good! May I just say how nice it is to meet you all. My accommodations are just lovely, and everyone's been so nice. Rarely have I been treated... Can we just please talk about your film? Certainly, certainly. My film, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, right. when you came up with the idea for Hobgoblins, were you high on crack? Say yes. Yes, yes. I had been doing quite a bit of crack that day, as I recall. <laughs> yes, yes, good, good. That helps me understand, if just a bit. Now, another question I'm sure everyone who has seen the movie Hobgoblins has on their lips. And forgive me if I don't phrase this in just the right way. Are you, in fact, a total idiot? Say yes. Uh, yes, yes, I am an idiot. That is correct. How penetratingly intelligent of you to notice. You know, Servo, I couldn't help but notice. Stay He's out not... of it, Nelson. Okay, right. Now, director of this film, Mr. Rick Sloan, another question that I've been asked to put to you by the legions who've enjoyed your film, Hobgoblins. Uh, it did someone open up your skull and carefully replace your brains with rat droppings? Say yes. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh, yes, yes. Once again, your insight is quite correct. I was home one night, right uh -huh. before the filming of my hit film, Hot Goblins, yep. when I received an unsolicited call suggesting yeah. I try their service, yeah. wherein they replace my brains with rat droppings. <laughs> it was a good deal, so I said yes. Ah, good, good. Another mystery solved. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, actually, <laughs> Servo, I think you have time for another question. Oh, really? Uh... Oh, uh, gee, I wasn't really prepared. Um, well, uh, Rick, how are you then? As I stated before, I'm good, thank you. Huh. Good. So, uh, Rick Sloan. <laughs> good. Uh, hey, do you have any hobbies at all? Nope. Really? No, no hobbies. None. <sighs> okay, no you're off the hook. We gotta get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Rick. <laughs> Good work, Servo. Nice job. Hey, Clamp Hands. Hey there, Mike. You know how we really didn't care for that stupid movie today? Yeah. Well, by using our time machine, I went back to the early 80s, and I took care of our little Rick Sloan problem, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Servo, you don't, you don't mean you could 
Yeah, I sure did, Mike. I hunted down Rick Sloan, and I kicked him, Mike, right in his shin. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. It's gruesome, I know, but I had to take matters into my own hands. Well, I thought, you'd, you know, you'd gone back and terminated him, you know. What do you mean, terminate? Terminate? What are you, are you nuts? I hate guns. I hate them. How could you ever get that idea? Man, I don't know. Well, anyway, by going back and giving our Mr. Sloan a firm, swift blow to the shin, I have changed the course of events, and Hobgoblins is no more. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys. Huh? I, I'm doing my uh, biography of Rick Sloan here, doing my research, and listen to this. Huh? Rick Sloan says the inspiration for his film Hobgoblins is like a stout red automaton kicking him in the shins. Stout? Stout? He says stout? That bastard, I'm going back to kill him. No, you, know, you know, I gotta put a child lock on our time machine. That's a good idea. Mike? Servo, Art, I took away the couch and brought it back down here. You are all old enough to be taking some responsibility for some of our things. Couches do not grow on trees. Hey, can I have some of your Welch's grape juice? Sure, if I can have some of that seal coat. You back. <laughs> there was a nice settee I was thinking of sending up there. there. There was a particular office chair I know you would have enjoyed, Crow. But I don't know that I can ever trust you with any home furnishings ever again. Bobo, brain guy, who wants candy? Oh, I do. I do. Me. I don't mean to yell. I just really want everyone to stay off the couch. Oh.